All right, friends, we got the Hapstone RS in the house. We're going to do a quick video here of assembling it and getting it ready to try out. But first, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It's what keeps the content coming. Thank you. So friends, yes, I'm really excited about this. It's the Hapstone RS knife sharpener. It has a rotating clamp system, a modular approach, fine tuning angle adjustment, and a pivot unit with a full 360 degree rotation. So I'm not much into unboxing videos, so I just grabbed the camera real quick. I know some people like that kind of stuff. I'm just not that into them. So hope I don't make anybody seasick here, but I just free handed the camera while I was grabbing everything out of the box. We'll get the camera on a mount here in a minute and um, and steady out the uh, the focus a little bit. But I just want to and show everybody what's in the box and and how it comes out of the box I got. So everything was packed very well. Everything seems to be high quality. I'm not going to do a lot of talking in this video. I'm just going to let uh, let the scene play out for itself here. I'll put some notes in here and there on a voiceover, but um, I'm not going to get too crazy on a lot of uh, talking. I know you, a lot of y'all are going to miss my lovely voice, but it's pretty self-explanatory here. I'm looking at the directions. Uh, this is all it came as one page. It's pretty simple. Basically, uh, five or six diagrams here showing you how to put it together. Uh, no operate instructions, but I think they have plenty of videos online. So I think they got a link here. So this is what comes in the box. You know, this base plate, which is pretty heavy. I don't know. It's good. I say maybe four pounds by itself. It's got rubber pads under it. This is the arm. And, um, you know, it's, it's a tube of a rod that goes inside of it, and here's the clamp system. i got to get an Allen wrench and open that up so I can get it to the full 6-inch stone. Here's, I guess, the, the tower, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure if it's aluminum or some kind of high-impact plastic. This magnet is super strong. This is the, um, the tower and this is the micro adjusting. We'll get all into that once we start using it. I just wanted to show you what all comes in the box for, I got it for $165 with the discounts they had last week. It's normally $199. So yeah, it's a little pricey compared to Chinese stuff, but I think the quality is a little better. So, and I like the colors. It's a good looking little unit. You'll see once I get it together. It's it's really pretty sharp. This here's the assembly that uh, allows you to flip the knife side to side, to side. and it's really why I bought it. I, I tried to make something like this myself and it just wasn't worth it. $165, that piece right there is worth it alone. These are the clamps. Uh, I've seen some of the reviews where people said they were a little flimsy. I don't see that at all. They they seem well built. Um, you know, it's, it's perfect for a pocket knife. This isn't for a, a machete. This is for, you know, your small folders. That's what it's designed for, a little tabletop sharpener for smaller knives. And I think they're going to work perfect. So let's look at the diagram here and uh, start uh, putting this bad boy together. Got some included Allen wrenches. It's got two different sizes. They got ball ends on them. On one end, on the long end. On the other end, they're just a normal Allen wrench. But like I said, I'm not going to talk a lot here. I'm just going to let it roll. Enjoy. But I will say, I didn't edit this. This is uh, this is in real time. I had the whole thing together in about ten minutes ready to sharpen so you'll see enjoy
Now, I will say, I put this on backwards, and uh, in a minute you're, you'll see me have to turn around and take it back off and flip it around. That's me not looking at the diagram very closely. All right, let's check out these clamps now. Let's see here. Okay, got a large thumb wheel here on the end, and that's how they mount to the uh, the switcheroo bracket. Got a fine thread, so they take a while to unscrew out of here. The threads uh, feel good, clean. It's manufactured properly. No issues there. And here it comes in a minute. Mm hmm Something wrong? Oh, yeah. Don't look at the diagram. Got to take it back apart and swap it around. That's just how it goes sometimes.
That should work much better. All right, now let's put this on here. Just about got it here, I think. There she is. All put together. Nice little compact unit. It even uh, matches my tabletop theme here. I like the colors. Yeah. Kind of spider coat colors, actually. If the orange is red, it would be exactly. It looks good. Now, what are these extra screws for? Shit. Did I forget something? Uh, no. No. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any extra parts of any screws. Huh. Let me see something here. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. They're the same screws that's in these clamps. So what they did was they gave me extra screws for the clamps. I guess they figured I was going to strip them out or mess up the heads of the Allen or something. I don't know. But that's nice. I got an extra set of screws for the clamps. Cool. Cool beans. All right. So. Go ahead and open these babies back up and see how a knife looks in here in a minute. Tighten them down. Good. Put that down. Put that stuff out of the way. Alright, put these in my toolbox so I don't lose those. Got Allen wrenches. Maybe I'll put a little mount on here so I don't lose them. Alright, so I got the Spyderco sharpness stone. I got the medium. I didn't get the fine and the extra fine yet. Um, I don't know why they didn't ship them all out in the same package. But, uh, so we got to get that arm ready. We'll put this on the arm. The six inch stone. So, they did not give me an Allen wrench that fits this. So, I went over to my toolbox and I got one. And we'll adjust this, but I want to warn you of something here. I went ahead and put this, uh, this other Gridomatic stone on here just to size it. And, and here's my concern. If somebody gets a hold of this. See this big Allen? That's a pretty good size Allen wrench. And um, this is just a stainless steel tube that this is on. And it's all the way at the end here. And I'm worried if somebody didn't pay attention, they could over tighten that Allen screw and crush that tube. And then it's not going to slide on here nice and easy like it should. So you got to be super careful that you don't torque that damn thing down and distort that tube or it's not going to slide on the rod like this. So you're not going to be able to even get it started. Um, I'm worried about that. I'll be careful, but um, you know, anybody out there that's buying this system, you know, be aware of that. Warn your friends, right? Alright, so the stones go on here. They actually go on very nice. I like the way it, uh, the bevels are cut. But a six inch stone, it takes up the whole arm. You're not going to get anything bigger on here. Not like my other Hapstone system. And um, let's just put the pair of two on here. See how it looks on there.
Now these pair of twos always give the clamps problems on these systems because of the uh, the, the slope of the spine, A, it's not a straight spine, it's a slope spine, leaf-shaped blade, and then it's a, a double distal taper, meaning it, it's it's tapered down from the, the spine to the edge and from the tip to the to the end of the blade there. So everything is not sitting flush. Everything is only touching in a certain area, but these clamps seem to they clamp down good. And um, let's see here. Let's see how it. All right, that's how I want it. I gotta keep the the edge of the blade uh, perpendicular to the swing arm, and the blade flips over, flips over nicely. That's pretty good. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the assembly video. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Some people like this kind of stuff. I don't do a whole lot. I like to try to be a little bit more active, but. Um, Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see the, uh, the follow-up video. And thanks for watching and thanks for supporting my channel.